Welcome back. Again, I have some films here that are relevant to contemporary culture, to contemporary art, and to what's going on in modern society. So the first one that I wanted to talk about, this is the 10th anniversary three-disc edition of um, Clerks. This was directed by Kevin Smith, and it's from 1994. And it is loaded with special features. Kevin Smith and his um, filmmakers and those who helped him with this did a really good job with this edition. The entire disc three is called Snowball Effect, the story of clerks. And I would suggest checking out if you uh, get to um, this particular edition, all of these uh, special features on here. The first one is called May Day, the crumbling of a documentary. The next one is called the next one is the 10th anniversary anniversary question and answer. The next one is um, outtakes from Snowball Effect, and then they have the still photo gallery, um, the or original Kevin Smith journals, articles and reviews. Um, 1994 Sundance Film Festival program note and um, there's a lot more on here I would I would definitely recommend getting this particular edition um, if you're into Kevin Smith especially I'm not sure how many professors will have this on there in their curriculum or on their syllabus but uh, for fanboys this is a really excellent collection to have and then there's the sequel, Clerks 2. This is the two-disc edition, and Kevin Smith directed this one in 2006. Um, there's two particular special features on the second disc that I would recommend. There's one called Back to the Well, Clerks 2, a 90-minute documentary. And then there's 10 Train Wrecks, a video production diaries with introduction. So um, this is another one, um, the two disc edition of Clerks 2. This one of course is a lot easier to find than the 10th the, uh, anniversary edition of the original Clerks. <clears throat> the next one that I have here is a Michael Mann film, very good movie called Collateral. It's a two disc set and this one was directed in um, 2004. There is a special feature on here that I would recommend called um, City of Night, and it's behind the scenes of Collateral. So this is the two-disc uh, edition of Collateral. The next one that I have is a film that George Clooney directed. You know, obviously he's used to acting, but this particular one he directed as well, and he's directed some other films too. This is Confessions of a Dangerous Mind from 2003. And um, there's some special features on here. There's uh, six behind the scene vignettes. And um, there's also a documentary on here called The Real Chuck Barris. So those are two um, special features on here that I would direct you to. The next one that I have is um, Francis Lawrence, he was a um, director of music videos. This is his first feature length film debut. This is uh, Constantine, came out back in 2005. It kind of reminded me of somewhat of a loose adaptation of um, Dante's Inferno. And this is the two disc edition and it also includes a comic book. So there's some um, print material here. Uh, there's some some documentaries in here on how they created and came up with the designs for the underworld again I would recommend see, viewing them of all the ones on here because it's kind of reminiscent of um, Dante's Inferno and I would also recommend reading the comic book that comes along with it whenever there's print material I would recommend reading through that that stuff The next one that I have is a Steven Soderbergh film, just came out last year in 2011. It's called Contagion, 
and I have the Blu-ray and DVD version of this one. And surprisingly, they they did pack this one pretty full of special effects. Um, I would recommend viewing all of them. The reality of Contagion, the Contagion, the Contagion detectives, and Contagion: How a Virus Changes the World. Um, obviously, this film is pretty contemporary because of the swine flu scare from 2009. But in the in the documentary called The Reality of Contagion, the the stars explore the real science of global viruses and what they mean to the human race. Um, and then in the Contagion Detectives, they have the greatest minds in the world and how they help prepare Matt Damon and Lawrence Fishburne and the rest of the stars um, get ready for this film, so to speak. And then the third one, Contagion, How a Virus Changes the World. Um, that's definitely one to view, especially with how um, the U.S. kind of reacted in somewhat of a fearful way over the swine flu outbreak in 2009. So this is the, the definitive edition as it stands right now of uh, Contagion from 2011. The next one that I have is uh, James Mangold's directorial debut. This one's called Copland. It's from 1997. And there are some special features on here that I would direct you to. There's a shootout storyboard sequence. So there's a shootout in this movie and they, they give you the storyboards for that they drew and um, got ready for the shootout sequence. And there's also a documentary on here that I thought was really interesting called The Making of an Urban Western, Behind the Scenes. Um, we're used to westerns being um, in the wild, wild west of the 1800s, but um, there's these new genres coming about like cyberpunk in, in science fiction, and there's a new genre called urban western. So that's definitely something to check out. And this is uh, Copland from 1997, directed by James Mangold. The next one that I have is another Academy Award nominated movie. It's called Crash. It's from 2004. This is the director's cut, and it includes two discs. And it was directed by Paul Haggis. Now, there are some del or, uh, features on here that I would direct you to. There's um, Behind the Metal and Glass, Making of Crash. So um, there's a documentary on here as to how they made the movie. Again, I bring up a lot of these documentaries about how they make movies because those are the types of things that um, pr professors will talk about in a film appreciation course and how making the movie can help you interpret it and read the movie better. And there's also one called L.A., the other main character featurette. Um, if you view this film, you'll find out that Los Angeles is the setting, and the people in this documentary are posing the, the theory that Los Angeles itself is a character in the movie. So that's definitely something to check out with Crash. The next one that I have has become somewhat of a cult classic, especially for those who are um, somewhat a fan of goth and um, that sort of thing. But this is The Crow from 1994. And as you can see, this is one of those thicker editions. It's a two-disc set, and it was directed by Alex Proyas. I am a big fan of his work. He, again, was another director who started out by directing music videos. And this film became popular because of Brandon Lee and how, um, while he was filming The Crow Part Two, right after this movie came out, he was um, mistakenly shot to death, or they, uh, so they claim it was a mistake. Um, Anyway, I would point you to two special features on this one. There's a feature commentary track with um, the producer and um, 
there's also a profile of James O'Barr, who was the the comic artist who created the Crow comics. And there's also behind the scenes featurettes on here as well that are probably worthwhile checking out. Um, I'm not sure how many um, professors would have this on their curriculum for film appreciation courses, but um, if you would get into a goth literature something like that this would be something to check out because this is like the personification of goth so this is the two disc edition of um, the crow the next one that I have is another one that was um, somewhat of a a film that became a cult classic um, this is cruel intentions from 1999 and it was directed by Roger Cumble. This movie is kind of somewhat contemporary because it criticizes and has a lot of high school satire in, in it. Um, how the societies work in the high school setting. That's something that you run into in, in um, contemporary film as well. But anyway there's creative intentions. It's, it's one of the special features on here finding a visual style and they have a, a featurette for that um, and there's also a making of featurette on here as well and the last one I have for this particular video again it's another cult classic this is the autograph edition of Cube from 1997 and I found out that this was a cult classic back when I worked in a um, video rental store part-time because a lot of people had come in and asked for this um, it's a sci-fi film and it's another one that I believe should be in um, sci-fi studies but it was directed by Vincenzo Natali and there are um, three special features on here that I would direct you to there's um, storyboards there's set design and there's also FX artwork that they have as special features on this one disc collection of Cube. So I'll be back in a couple minutes with my next pile.